Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren wants to get rid of the Electoral College. Warren made that comment last night during a town hall meeting in Mississippi. My view is that every vote matters. And the way we can make that happen is that we can have national voting, and that means get rid of the Electoral College. Well, supporters of the Electoral College use some of that same argument, saying it keeps candidates from focusing solely on major population centers where large clusters of voters live, like New York and California. Speaking of big changes, Democrats are also coming around to the idea of lowering the voting age to 16. Senior political correspondent Mike Emanuel tells us why. There's a push on the left to allow younger kids to vote in the next presidential election. House Democrats tried to shift the voting age in federal elections from 18 to 16. Their argument is young people are mobilizing and pushing older Americans to action on issues ranging from gun violence to climate change. They're at the forefront of social and legislative movements and have earned inclusion in our democracy. Beginning at the age of 16... Presley's amendment failed by 179 votes, but a majority of Democrats favored it. The amendment is not adopted. And so does the House Speaker, who says she's always favored lowering the voting age. It's really important to capture kids when they're in high school, when they're interested in all of this, when they're learning about government to be able to vote. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell fired back. There is no need to drive turnout. What is the problem? We had, we had the biggest election turnout since 1966 last year. If the idea here is to make it more likely we have a higher turnout. It seems to me that's happening. And other Republicans counter Democrats are pushing it because they're convinced it would benefit them. They think more of those individuals are going to vote Democrats. They think it helps them, just like they think allowing non-citizens would help them. It's all designed to benefit Dem Democrats and help them, um, help them on Election Day. But a Fox News contributor and former DNC chair says it does not hurt to try. 16-year-olds, 17-year-olds are ready. They're engaged. They want to get involved. They want to have their voices heard. I think it's a great idea. The voting age was lowered to 18 back in 1971, but it took a constitutional amendment. And part of the pitch was if you're old enough to fight in the Vietnam War, you're old enough to vote. At this point, there does not appear to be that kind of energy to lower it to 16.